We saw that when you use multiple generators inside of a for loop, it winds up giving you back a flat collection where it just has one dimension, even though it goes through the number of iterations that one would expect for kind of being a two-dimensional process. What if you actually want to have a multi-dimensional result from a for loop? Well, turns out the answer to that is that you need to actually nest for loops with yields. So if I really want to have my two-dimensional multiplication table, then I can't just stop there and yield, and I can't put a second generator in here because that will give me back something that is one-dimensional. Instead, I need to nest inside of here another loop that has its own yield. So for every iteration of i, we will go through the j's and yield things. So if I'm just making a multiplication table, I could do that. And then the thing that I get back is a multi-dimensional collection. So in this case, it's a sequence of sequences, or more specifically, a vector of vectors. The first row is multiples of one, the second row is the multiples of two, multiples of three, etc. Uh, we had previously generated this type of table using fill and or tabulate and giving it two arguments. Uh, this shows how we can get similar types of results using for loops, but the multidimensional part actually requires nesting the for loops inside of one another to produce things that have more than one dimension so they're not all flattened out.